Hello, good morning. What we're going to talk today is uh, a little response to some comments I've been having about uh, unified field theory, math, you know, what have you, all of those scientific things. But as we get ready to talk, I want to stroll through and show you a little bit of artwork to get started. My wife is an artist, and it's uh, good to have a wife that's an artist. It brings a lot. I like having a, 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 a person in the family who's musically inclined. You, <laughs> you can always have someone play at the uh, bar mitzvah or the wedding or whatever kind of celebration you're giving. Have a, in, in, have a musician. Anyway, let me walk you over here to where we're going to talk. Some more of my uh, wife's. Uh, whoops. Whoa, what happened here? Ah, kicked the lantern. Okay, a little bit of a problem there. Okay, back in, back in rolling. Here we are. Here's some artwork. Eh, it's kind of dark right now. My wife's uh, a multimedia artist. This is wood, a relief wood. We do a lot of things. You don't make a living. Anyway, let's sit down here and do a little talking. Okay, I want to respond uh, <clears throat> to something that someone said uh, on, on uh, YouTube about uh, oh one of my my science videos. He responded, and you can even look it up if you wanted to in 007 Wingman uh, comments. Said that I had only a tentative hold on the subject matter I was talking about, and I thought about that a tentative hold. At first, I figured it was an attack type, you know. Uh, uh, a statement that uh, very dissatisfied with maybe what I was presenting or very unhappy with what I was presenting. And uh, I thought about that and I said to myself, a tentative hold. We're talking about a subject that from uh, Jesus Christ and the Last Supper <laughs> to Newton, <laughs> Galileo, we'll throw in <laughs> Copernicus. Uh, let's throw in uh, Fermi, let's throw in Oppenheimer, let's go right on up the list, uh, Einstein himself, to today where we have people in colleges and universities just working their finger to the bone, a lot of mathematicians say, and they're trying to come up with the way things work. Now let's not make a mistake about this. No one, and let me say that again, no one knows how things work. We haven't the, the, the faintest idea of how this universe turns. We, uh, as Newton, could not explain why the moon circles around the earth, uh, why gases float. Uh, we have a fair idea. If you throw an object or accelerate an object to a certain speed, we can expect a certain amount of things to take, take place. We, we've seen this. Everything we know of the universe, we have observed in the universe. And because we're observing, and, and we're keeping these observations, and, and uh, we have a good memory for that, uh, like insects that fly around and everything, uh, we feel pretty small. And we, you know, uh, use math. Math is a wonderful thing. But with all of this uh, internet, uh, rocket ships, man standing on the moon, we haven't the faintest idea of how this universe works. So this young man or young person or, or person who said that uh, I have a tentative hold on what I'm talking about, he's complimenting me. I took it, as I thought about it, a most sincere compliment. Because a tentative hold on how this universe works is better than what anyone else has. I <laughs> saw, so, uh, what is it? Uh, a one-eyed man in the land of the blind, uh, it is a compliment. What I'm trying to state is that make no mistake, no one on this planet, me included, know how it works. We have two observations that uh, Galileo and Newton and, and Copernicus were working with all the way back to Aristotle that are pretty valid. Uh, that one is that things are in motion. Once you get that grasp, you have a fundamental approach to understanding the universe. The second one is that when two items collide, there's an actual uh, reaction, 
Okay, that also tells us as a corollary that two pieces of matter cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Thus, we just eradicated black holes. Because <laughs> when we here on Earth try to make a black hole, with uranium mostly, we we get a big explosion. <laughs> wow! Now, we have people in high places, mind you, and this, this person who said that I had a tentative hold is more than likely in one of those places or striving for one of those seats of doctoral ship, which is, I, I hope he makes, I hope they make it because it takes a lot of, a lot of energy to get there and some, and a lot of good brain power. But make no mistake, when you get there, no, many, no matter how many accolades you have and, and credentials and all of this stuff you can paste up on the wall, it's squat. You haven't even scratched, you haven't got to where you, you're, you're saying you are. None of us know what's going on. So the rest of you that are coming up in the ranks, the younger people, I think you might make it. I think we're getting close. You might, you might be at that, that one position where you stand, uh, you stand ahead of everybody and look forward and then can turn around and explain it to us because uh, that's where we're hoping to go. And by that time, we'll probably be all, like they say, bear poop. <laughs> we'll be out of here <laughs> and it'll all start somewhere else again. Uh, but, but my kudos to you. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Uh, and thank you for the tentative hold thing, because uh, that's all I'm striving for, is a tentative hold. We'll get more and more uh, into this. We're running out of time. You know, these are uh, nine to ten minute type things. Uh, eBay has not seen fit to give me over ten minutes. <laughs> I have not had a million hits or two million hits. And, and those people who do watch, well, you make me feel good. So let's keep it up. Let's keep there. And, the, and even the person who said I had a tentative hold, uh, I hope I haven't disappointed you by just having a tentative hold. That's all I got. <laughs> Thank you. Texas in the morning. Let's shut you down here. <laughs>